you know what I love about this next car in my collection? Is that it can do this. Ah! And also this. Get them lights on. People, this is the scale X trick. Aston Martin DB5, that iconic James Bond 007 car. And this one is from Goldfinger. You'll be using this Aston Martin DB5 with modifications. Now, pay attention, please. So normally when you get a scale X trick car, in this sort of case, you're always gonna get a couple of uh, spear guide blades and braids. And uh, that's it, really. However, what have we got here? Now, I'm sure you've probably seen videos before or you know the movie, so you know exactly what I'm gonna say next. Right here is the villain. So, the dude that gets ejected out of the car scale, Lex Trick has provided that dude right here. And there's also another little track piece. You probably can't see it because it's still in there. I'll get that off momentarily. But it's a piece that you put on the track. And when this car gets around to that piece, the top of the car opens and out <whistles> pops the bad guy out of the car onto the track. <laughs> Just like the movie. No, seriously, this is beautiful. Well done, Scale X trick. Now, as British and gorgeous as this car is, Aston Martin, British brand, did you know this bad boy was designed by an Italian? I didn't know that, but it's still a British car. Now, <laughs> look at the front. Chrome, chrome, chrome everywhere you look. I'm absolutely loving the front bumper, the grill. And look, once again, when it comes to badges on car, as small as they are, you can tell it's an Aston Martin badge. And please, can we show some appreciation for those gorgeous wheels on this vehicle? Look at the intricacy of the wheel. Beautifully done by Scalex Trick. It's like, it's almost like lattice. It's almost like a, a an intricate spider's web. It is gorgeous how they've done the wheels. And of course, as always, the tires have that very realistic tread on them, which I think is fantastic. Now, taking all the nice little features that you've got there that you would find on the real DB5. By the way, the DB5 was always considered a sort of an upgrade to the DB4. Yes, this car is everything. I absolutely adore how they have replicated the rear lights and that registration plate is spot on too. Right, let's just get straight to it. Let's get to the bits of this car that excites me the most. Now, just as the movie version has, you've got that big hatch at the top in the roof. That will open up when this lever right here is triggered by this bad boy right here. You simply attach this piece to the side of your track like that. Look, it literally just clips on, nothing complicated or anything. And when that little lever right here hits that post, <laughs> the roof opens up and the baddie is ejected. Now I'll show you that once I get this bad boy on the track. But just before I do that, I need to show you inside the vehicle. It's awesome. Right, so, right here as you can see, there's a mechanism that will eject the bad guy out of Bond's car. It will obviously also push that door open. Um, when you are closing it, it's important that you don't try and close it by the door itself. Use your finger and push down on that mechanism. It will click into place and reset. Right now, before I close this door, would you look inside? Look at 007 himself. I'm loving the fact that he is wearing a very nice tuxedo. Thank you very much. Um, has he got a bow tie on? I can't quite see yet. Got a bow tie on. And I'm also loving, look, look at the jacket sleeve, look. At the end, you can actually see the end of the shirt. Very nice. Any well-dressed gentleman will tell you that's how it's done, especially if you're wearing cufflinks. And if you look there, I'm loving that they've included a gear stick. And look, if you look carefully, you can see other bits and bobs inside the car. Very nice. One other thing I need to show you on this part of the car 
is that shield. We all know that stops the bullets and to deploy that, all you have to do is press on this big silvery section right there and that pops the shield. Love it, bulletproof. Come on, get in. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to take it on the track and demonstrate. I'm not necessarily going to go high speed because this is a collector's piece for me and I would like it to be in one piece with no scratches or anything. But anyway, look, very nice what they've done underneath. Look at that, twin pipes right there, your exhaust pipes. I'm loving that they at least kept it chrome silvery on that section there. Um, yeah, you've got your guide, your braids. Can you put a chip in this? Well, I'm looking at it. And I'm looking, in fact, hold on, looking at the information on the case, I would suggest no. It doesn't have DPR on it. To be fair, with all the mechanisms and all the extras you get with this vehicle, you know, its functionality, I'm not surprised there wouldn't be any room for a digital chip. I don't think you can really, but who cares? Um, this car is beautifully analog. And for those of you with digital tracks, especially scale extra tracks, Oh, say that fast. Anyway, yeah, scale extra tracks. Um, apparently, I think you can switch from digital to analog. I don't know. I don't have digital yet. Notice I said yet. I'm not ready to go digital, okay? I'm just enjoying the whole nostalgia of the analog side of things. Um, I think you can, yeah, still run this bad boy on a digital track and you just have to flick a switch. I'm not sure about Carrera. Again, if you know, drop it in the comment section. Right. Mr. Bond, the track is ready for you. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me quickly tell you. You see the baddie right here? Can you see there on his backside? Yep, that's not piles. That's a little section that goes or slots into the car seat inside the DB5. Oh, and quick tip, it's a lot easier to get that seat back down when you put the baddie in first. So put the baddie in, seat him on the seat and push everything down at once and it's much more easier. Oh, and look here, see? See what I mean about there's always something, there's always a little bit of dodgy workmanship or a little bit of damage here and there. Nothing major. I, 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 I'm just very fussy and I've, I've actually got OCD, but I can overlook that, I think. I don't think I'll need to send this back. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what an elegant and fun car to run. I've got to say straight away, I'm amazed that this car has this extra functionality, yet it doesn't cost any more than any other Scalextric car in its class. Um, I would say this particular one is worth 
every single penny for what it can do apart from that horrible dent that i showed you earlier on this is going to take pride and place and because of this one i'm just going to have to buy all the other james bond cars from scalextric to complete the collection <laughs> i've actually got another two already waiting to be shown oh and by the way the little voice inside my head got the better of me and I ended up sending this car back but luckily I got this one from Amazon and if you use Amazon regularly you will know you can get stuff picked up the next day and get a refund the following day or get a replacement I did the first and I've got a replacement and here it is damage free in all its glory nice <laughs>